Hey guys, it's Dulce here today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a Gumpei Sweet Pea step by step. And also, I'm going to show you the four different stages of bloom that you can make a Gumpei's Peony in. So you can have a variety in your arrangements. If you like this video, make sure to give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section down below letting me know what you want to see next. Make sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button so you can receive notifications of when I post new videos. Also, I wanted to mention that once I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to be uploading twice a week, once on Tuesdays and once on Fridays. So make sure to share these videos with your friends or anyone who you think might find it helpful. So without further ado, let's get into the video. I'm going to start off by making a hook on 26 gauge wire with the flat pliers. Then I'm going to be using some floral tape to wrap the whole wire. Start off by rolling a small ball of gum paste into a long cone. Dip the wire on the side that has the hook into the egg white and then attach the cone by pinching and rolling. Then start pinching and stretching out the gum paste slightly to make the center of the sweet pea. Then use the large side of the ball tool to thin out the edge slightly. Then use the smaller side of the ball tool to ruffle the edge of the petal. And let dry completely before use. You can also leave some like this to use as flower buds. Roll out the gum paste to about a sixteenth of an inch thick. The first cutter I'm using is for the inner petals, the second one is for the outer petals. You're only going to be needing one of each for each flower. I'm going to rub some cornstarch on both sides of the inner petal. Then I'm going to be placing it in the veiner and pressing lightly. Place the petal on a foam pad and thin out the edge with the large side of the ball tool. Then, using the smaller side, ruffle the edge slightly. Using a brush, place egg white on the back of the petal bud and attach the first set of inner petals. Make sure to press the back slightly to make sure the petals are attached. Hang the flower upside down to dry the inner petals completely before we can attach the last set. With the outer petals, it's going to be the same process as the first set. So go ahead and vein it thin and ruffle the edges.
using a brush, place egg white on the back of the sweet pea and attach the last set of petals. Make sure to press lightly to secure the petals. You can dry the flowers hanging upside down or on the back of a spoon for a more open or full bloom flower. To make the calyx, I'm going to roll out green gum paste a little thicker than the petals and use this small calyx cutter to cut out the shape. Using the small side of the ball tool, go ahead and stretch out each corner of the calyx. To attach it, use a small dab of egg white in the center and slide it up the wire. Then pinch at the base to secure the calyx. These are the four stages of bloom that you can make peonies in to have a variety in your arrangements. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!